So let's work at the last material. So we go in the isolation with both and we zoom at all. And now I like to uh, work at this one. This one will be simpler than the previous one. We'll have a, a lot of uh, layers again to simulate all the stuff we have to simulate, but it will be simpler. Uh, the first thing we have to do is to go in the shrink wrap for the uh, mapping. Let's get a fit. And let's do the same for this one. And fit. Um, let's go in the material and let's go in the top. This one will be rock tree. Uh, we'll have this one for both. It is a V-Ray material again. Um, the, uh, the way we'll simulate this rock is the same we used before. So, uh, we go to have um, a composite and this time we don't take care about the reflectivity. Uh, we'll have more layers than before, but we'll try to simulate the same thing. So, the first one will be a speckle and we get to have a bigger sides to see uh, dots and color variation over the surface and we go for uh, let's go for a brown not so dark and a darker brown color okay then we put another layer over it. This one is useful to have the basic coloring for the surface. Now we go to have some color variation for the entire surface. So we can go for noise and this one will be a fractal and we go for um, we can go for a really dark color similar to a brown so 23, 18 and 7, you see a really dark brown and then we go for a brown but a brighter version so 71, 60 and 29 we go for turbulence but we go to create some contrast in the noise and if we go to render you will see some nice detail over the surface okay you see just some coloring because we have before to say the right scaling let's go for 10 times lower and let's go to have more details and we have to say how to use this map so this one can be used as an average between the others and this one let's go back inside and let's render the part we were seeing okay you see that we have color variation and dots and now we can add some detail over this map so in the dark area we put another noise And this one will be a turbulence to create some little detailing with more details. And we go for uh, a bright brown, so maybe 78, 20, uh, 62 and 34. And then in the color 2 we go for a 27, 17 and 12. So a dark brown. Then we go to have five. So this will be the level of details we are having. So if we go to render, that's the result. Let's go to add more layers. So in the composite, let's add a new layer. This one will be used to create some brighter area and it will be similar to the one we used 
to create the people. So we can go inside the people and pick one of it, for example, this one. Be back there and paste. And then there we can say to see this map. And let's say that we like to tile this one eight times with less variation there. We go to have a bigger size for the noise and we go to have a little uh, size for the, um, the noise and we move the noise using the face and we go to have more details so you see we are creating a lot of teeny details over our surface okay nice this one will be used as screen and we can show it at 10 we can see the result so you see that we have some teeny details over the surface let's add a new layer and this one will be used to create some darker area so we go to use this time um, uh, a cellular and I like to have a lot of variation to create some more details and differences we go to have the chips the fractal with a really high iteration I like to have a little bit less spread a little bit of roughness and then we can stay with this value and we use this one as multiply and we can say to use it 100% so you see that we are creating darker area with this map we can see a test you see that we have a lot of teeny darker detail now let's put another layer and this one will be again a cellular but we'll use it in a different way this one will have no variation it will be again set to chips let's go for a little bit less for the sides fractal with more iteration to have more details a little bit less spread and this one will be used using a um, a screen but we have to make another variation I mean because I like to invert the map okay and it is set to screen as I said you but we use lower because we need just a little bit of brighter area let's see a test so you see that now we have this brighter area and the last layer the last layer will be again a cellular so let's go for a cellular and we go to have um, a different color let's go for something like 124 and we go for a, a really simple color like this one let's go for a, a variation and we can maintain the gray color there and then I like to have just a little bit less spread let's go to the fractal and more to the tail and a little bit of ragness and that's soul and this one can be used as screen again and we can set to 15 so that's the basic material we are using and we get to have just a diffuse in this case because we have a lot of detail over the surface uh, we have four let's put eight and eight save let's go in the render I'm trying to open the window there for the rendering and let's select both and we can make a render with a final result and that's the final result so we can see now hold the rocks together so uh, let's try to find a nice way 
to render it because one can become more little and we can move it this one can be moved and let's say that this one will be moved to So let's set there the show save frame so we see what we are doing in a better way. Let's set the HD resolution and let's go for one, uh, the 70 uh, 20 HD. And maybe we can have this one there, and this one is more interesting, can stay there. And this one, maybe two, can stay near the camera. Let's move a little bit, and we should have a nice rendering. So save, and we can render the final image, and we can see the result in a few together to be sure that the final result is what we like to have. So uh, let's render the final image and we'll see the result really soon together. So that's the final result. You see that uh, this is really not bad. Uh, we have different kind of rocks and rocky material and you have complete control to change it or making uh, uh, some variation or create some new rocks just following the same workflow we used because in this tutorial we saw how to prepare rocky material following some workflow but that workflow can be adapted and changed and tweaked to obtain different kind of rocks so you can grab some images from uh, the web and then you can try to uh, replicate the same look using uh, uh, the, the workflow I just show it to you. So for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from ctcookie.com. Bye!